this video we're going to begin to talk about how you kind of picture 3D graphs. So for the function f of xy is x squared minus y cubed, first thing I just want to try and evaluate it, right? So evaluate the function at 2, 4. So f of 2, 4 is equal to 2 squared minus 4 cubed. So 4 minus 64 is negative 60. f of negative 1, 3 is equal to negative 1 squared minus 3 cubed. So 1 minus 27 is negative 26. So nothing shocking about how to evaluate these points. And again, we can always get an idea of how the curve is acting um, and, and what the values are by using these, uh, you know, using actual points on it. Uh, if f of x, y equals 10 and y and x equals 2, solve for y. So for this, we know that the outcome is 10 and that 2 squared minus y cubed is equal to 10 because we know x is 2. So 10 equals 4 minus y cubed. So 6 equals negative y cubed. So negative 6 equals y cubed. So y is the cube root of negative 6. And remember, cube roots, we can take cube roots of negative, so that is fine. Sometimes you'll see this written as negative cube root of 6, but it really doesn't matter. Okay, so again, we, we can work with these. They're not hard to work with, but sometimes the graphs are a little tricky to picture. Let's look at those. So what you see here are some different ways to look at three-dimensional plots, and we're going to talk about all of them. Um, this first one is an actual three-dimensional plot. This is an actual function, and uh, I graphed this using some uh, a, a free download that uh, you could certainly download. Um, and, of course, the best way to actually get an idea is to actually be able to look at it and to rotate it around and things. Um, this is what's called a, this next one, this is what's called a contour plot. And a contour plot lets us know kind of slopes. So this is actually a lot of times used in, in mapping. And elevation maps are, you know, if you're going to go hiking or go, go somewhere in the wilderness and you want to know, well, okay, I'm hiking, how much, how steep is it, what are the mountains like? Contour maps are really useful. Like I know that the further apart they are, um, the, the more gradual the slope, and the closer they are, the steeper the slope. And of course, this to me looks like e looks like the peak. And these numbers that you see in contour maps typically say the elevation is 100, then 200, then 300. If it went 300, 200, then 100, then you would say, oh, so this is probably the valley. This is the lowest point. But again, this is a nice way of kind of getting an idea of what a graph looks like. Another great way is to do what's called a vertical trace. And a vertical trace has you freeze uh, a value. So for here, you can see we've got 5, 3. So this was 2. I, um, I froze the y value. You see the y axis here. Y value at 2. And then I looked and I said, oh, that looks like a parabola. If y is a constant, if I freeze y out, I see a parabola. Whereas in this graph, I froze x. I just made a plane at x equals 2. And now I look it looks like I'm looking at a cubic, so I would guess the y is some kind of cubic function. Um, so all these are different ways we can look at three-dimensional graphs. So the first one I just wanted to talk about again was contour plots. And a contour plot, again, just lets us know some elevation. So let's see if we can't do some matching here. Um, to start with, I would think that um, maybe this one. You see a pretty you know, pretty gradual, and one peak up here, everything's kind of building, but a little steeper there, I would say that this one looks like number four, that these two are together, because you see a gradual slope, pretty steep on the other side, and one peak. Now, this, maybe going right below it, I see kind of the opposite, like a, uh, like a pretty gradual and then pretty steep on the other side, and that peak looks pretty big, a pretty big, just flat peak, that to me looks like letter F. Okay. Um, now, maybe going to uh, E. I mean, this, you know, just kind of bouncing around here. This looks like it's a pretty, you know, same kind of uh, slope on both sides. 
all leading to one peak in the middle. Well, that to me looks like number two. Okay. Uh, here, now we're starting to get to three that kind of have the same shape. This looks like a pretty um, gradual slope and a small dip in the middle and a pretty level uh, peaks. I would say that this one looks like three. Now, the top two, right, probably the most similar. We've got a big peak, a big dip, and a big peak again. Uh, I would think that this one looks like uh, six, way right down here, which leaves one and B going together. And here you can see a peak and another peak, but not as big of a slope getting up to the peak, that lower peak. Okay, So that is uh, one way of looking and getting an idea of how something would look in three dimensions is to think about its contour map. Now, picturing contour maps is sometimes tricky, and it really is almost like a, you're looking down from, from above at the graph. Easiest way to picture a contour map is to make Z constant. Okay, So think about if Z were some constant and you had X squared plus Y. Well, maybe through some rearranging, you'd say, well, then Y is kind of equal to a constant minus X squared. And you know that a constant minus X squared is a parabola, right? Kind of a down-facing parabola. So you'd expect to maybe see some kind of shape that's a down-facing parabola. Now here, in this next one, if you made C a constant, you have 4X squared plus 2Y squared squared. Now you got to know a little bit about your um, conic sections from pre-calc. And it's an x squared plus y squared. Those two things being added together means it's either a circle or an ellipse. Since the coefficients are different, I would say it's probably an ellipse. Well, it's definitely an ellipse. Excuse me. If the coefficients were the same, it would be a circle. Okay. Now, let me drag this down and you can see what the actual uh, 3D graphs would look like. So you can see that we do have a parabola. And the contour map would show you kind of dipping down to this lowest point. And here you see looking down at it, you do have an ellipse kind of dipping down to its lowest point. So again, the contour map kind of gives us an idea of if I'm looking down at the graph, what will I see if I'm looking down from above? Now to me, one of the most useful or useful things to do when trying to picture a graph is to do with the vertical trace. So let's start with first, think about freezing, and I always say freeze, that's not technically any, any kind of term, but let's say we froze X. So let's say we just picked an X, boom, and we made a plane in X. Okay, we just were looking at this. So imagine that this is just gone because it's just a constant. And you say, okay, if I froze X, what would just, just this look like? Well, if I freeze x and I've got negative y squared, I should see some kind of parabola, right? Because that's what negative y squared looks like. Well, I did that, and I did the graph, and there you can see I froze x, okay? And you can see that there is a parabola that I'm seeing when I look at it. Okay. Well, then the next thing you should think is, okay, well, what if I froze, what if I froze y instead? Okay, so if you freeze y, uh, then you'd have just one half x cubed. You should be seeing a cubic function. Okay, so let me show you here. If I if I freeze y, what happens? So again, freezing y means I'm just looking at a constant y and I see a cubic function. Okay. So what happens in this is you say, okay, so from one side I should be seeing a parabola, from the other side I should be seeing a cubic. So what does the overall graph look like? It looks like that. Okay. So it's really helpful in... Um, in getting an idea of the shape, to think about these con uh, these uh, vertical traces. And again, you say, okay, what if I just made x a constant or, or it wasn't allowed to change? 
when I look from that direction, and that's really the key to this, is if I look then from the x direction, right, from this way, what do I see? Well, I see a parabola. Then if I look from the y direction, what do I see? I see a cubic.